Hi everyone and welcome back to another part of Dreamfall Chapters. Um, so we are just picking up right where we left off in the last part. You guys seem to be enjoying this let's play so I hope that you will continue to enjoy it. Um, and we will just go ahead and resume our game. Goddess, damn him to the Shadow Eternal! What? Kian. Kian has escaped the keep. Leave us. Now! What are you saying? That's impossible. He's supposed to die. He's gone. Fled from the roof with the help of a rebel infiltrator and a bloody riot. The roof? But how? A portal. Dark magic. That's impossible. I must interrogate the men who let him escape. They will ruin this day for the rest of their short and miserable lives. And that boneheaded warden, he will pay for this with his life. I don't understand. Friar's Keep is warded against Thaumaturgy. Inside, yes, which is why they fled to the roof. My protectors, do you have any idea where he is? With the rebels, I'm sure. Wherever they've holed up. I will leave no stone unturned to find them. In their hands, Alvane is a poisonous dagger. You think I'm not aware? You think I don't know how dangerous he is? I know that traitor better than anyone, but I will find him. Him and his cohorts. Under the sight of the goddess, this I swear. Before the first arrives. It won't reach her ears. You make sure of that. If she learns their precious apostle is still alive, she will want him alive so that she can speak to him. And if she learns the truth... We won't give her the opportunity. Good. Because if she ever does, you and I will be paying with our lives. What in the light are you waiting for? You won't catch him in here, Commander! Go! Take care of this! Goddess, watch over us. Alright, well, I guess that probably should have been in the last time. Uh, episode, but never mind. <laughs> uh, my bad. It's our three months anniversary today. That's mad. I feel like I've been coming here for years. <laughs> How are you? All right. Let's see. Honestly, I don't have an answer. But that's probably not what he wants to hear. He wants to know that what he's doing is helping. It's his job to know how I'm doing. He knows me better than anyone. Why does he have to ask? He's probably expecting me to say I feel better. It's been three months. That is some sort of milestone, I guess. Maybe I do feel better. Let's go with daft questions. It's his job to... What do you think? Hmm. Well, you sound better. You look better. You have more energy, you appear more content with your life now than you did three months ago. But only you can tell how you are feeling. Hmm? I, I, I can't do that for you. I know, and I wish I could tell. I understand. You remember nothing of what happened before the coma. You're not sure you want to remember. But I think you do. And we're getting closer. Okay, okay. Thank you. Do you agree with that, Zoe? Um... And potentially lose everything I've built here? I, I guess it's a risk I'll have to take. I know there's something I need to remember, something I'm supposed to be doing. It's always at the back of my mind. Until I figure that out, I can't find peace. And potentially lose everything I've built here? I I'm not sure that's a risk I want to take. I feel there's something I need to remember, something, something I need to do. But if it comes back to me, what will happen to my life? I'm not sure I can take losing everything all over again. All right, I'm gonna say yes. And I do. I can't stand feeling there's something I need to remember. But you don't remember what it is. I have no idea. So I have to find out. I understand, okay. Let's see if we can do an exercise. Jog your memory. What is the last thing you do remember? 
Um, going back a year and a half before it all started. It's all a bit hazy, to be honest. It's like my memory loss is eating away at the edges, growing bigger. It's vague, like a dream. But I do remember some things. Fragments. I should see some things. I remember some of it. What do you remember? Razor vanishing. Me going after him, trying to track him down. I ended up in Newport. I have memories of sneaking into a house filled with drug addicts. It's, it's like remembering a movie where I'm the star. Doing things that feel completely foreign to me. It doesn't even feel like I did those things. It's almost like I was... like I was just an observer. I remember being in a safe place and connecting to a dream machine. But that's where it ends. And before that? Before leaving Casablanca? Dad was going away. I was throwing a party. Then... Reza asked me to pick up a package. That's what set it all in motion. That and the static. And do you remember what that turned out to be? After I woke up, they filled in the blanks. Apparently it was some sort of glitch or virus. Rogue code infecting the worldwide wire. Someone at Watercorp was using the dream machine to read people's minds. Someone I'd met. Kavanagh. Damien Kavanagh. That's right. The man behind it all. The perpetrator of the conspiracy. He'd put some sort of worm into the code, turning the dream machine into a mind-controlling tool affecting millions. At least that's... that's what they say. He recorded a confession before he... Yeah, he didn't want to rot away in a jail for the rest of his life, but at least he came clean. Absolved his employer of any wrongdoing. Convenient. In what way? Oh, forget it. I don't remember any of it. All I know is they poisoned my mind. Inserted false memories. Nothing I saw or experienced was real. The little girl on the screens, the other... The other world. Arcadia. Another colorful figment of their imagination. A synthetic dream. And you still remember nothing of going to Japan? Breaking into Watikorp? Nope. I exposed a global conspiracy and all they gave me was a lousy coma. Aside from you, Reza and my dad, no one even knows I was involved. Reza kept me out of his expose. And even he doesn't know what really happened during the week I was gone. Maybe my friend Olivia knew something, but she... passed away. An accident. Right. An accident. So they say. In light of everything, it felt very... convenient. Again. You feel responsible. I went off playing teen detective and people got hurt. A lot more people might have got hurt if you hadn't. Who knows, Dr. Zelenko? I don't, and that's the problem. I don't know what happened, what I did, or what... You're worried something else happened to you. I mean, it's a week of my life. Gone. That's what I'm here for. To help you through that. Whether you remember or not, it's a lot for one person to process on their own. Have you used a dream machine yet? God, no. I feel nauseous just watching the ads. <laughs> They're everywhere. You can't avoid them forever. I don't see one here. Well, I have one at home. I don't use it. Because of me? No. Well, not just that. They are addictive. And while I'm sure they're perfectly harmless entertainment, I worry about the long-term effects. It's becoming a disease, an addiction. I'm concerned about what these lucid, perfect dreams are doing to us. And you were connected to a prototype. There's no way to predict how that may have affected you. I'm sure they're mostly safe, but there's not enough data. I'm very concerned about the effects over time. Until I know more. But maybe you should. To get over your fear. You tell me you're worried about the long-term consequences of the dream machine, and then you suggest I try it. You're right. I probably should, but... 
I'll think about it. Think about it. Have you spoken with Gabrielle yet? No, I'm... I'm not ready to discuss my dad. We don't talk. He rented out the house, moved to Mumbai. You don't think you need to talk to him about it? I wanted to be just like him. That's why I went into pioneering, but... I decided to drop my pioneering degree so that I could avoid thinking about him and what he was a part of, so... No, no, I don't. Well, fuck, sorry. Of course I do. Maybe. Someday. That's perfectly fine. What do you want to talk about? Is the new series of Eurotrash a valid topic? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh. <coughs> Our time is almost up. That's fine. I'm working today. How's that going? Really good. I enjoy it. A lot. I'm glad to hear that. You weren't so sure a month ago. I'm learning a lot. Neural programming, artificial intelligence. It helps me feel closer to Liv. Olivia, you know? Honoring her memory. Not in a self-sacrificing way. I, I want to do this. I like working with Mira and Wit. For now. And with the voluntary campaign work, I feel I contribute in other ways, too. You're keeping yourself busy and motivated. You've come a long way since we first met. I was a real fucking wreck. I'm not going to disagree with that, but you've come a long way. Thank you, Dr. Zelenka. A Roman. Uh, please. <laughs> Same time next week? Definitely. Thanks, Doc. Roman. Roman. <laughs> Take care, Zoe. All right, so press G to bring up Zoe's journal. Um, all right. Oh, okay, so Monday, July 24th. Three months in therapy, still batshit crazy. Hello, I'm not complaining. The doc's there, a good job. Probably my head's a mess. I've lost over a year of memories, but I'm getting better ish and i do want to remember that's probably a step in the right direction right at least there's that anyway i've spent enough time in my head today no more psychotherapy it's your diary let's move forward and focus on the present okay all right so a little diary entry let's uh, go have a little look around the room um, this is a nice room. Like, look at the windows and stuff. Alright. I don't know what there would be to, uh... Knock on wood. Hmm. I don't often get to do that with real wood. Ikea's plastique just doesn't cut it, knockwise. Alright. A handy dispenser of pharmaceutical concoctions. If I drink more of that awful synthetic coffee at this point, I'll really need therapy. Okay, let's go ahead and exit. Alright, so that was our little therapy session. Um, it's kind of good, I guess, to get into Zoe's head and, you know, see what she thinks and what she's saying to her therapist and things like that, I guess. So, it's a good thing. Um, yeah. Hopefully, this loads kind of soon. I don't see the... Okay, it is moving. Alright. Oh gosh. Digital monkey. Um, what are they called? Mohicans? <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. I don't remember what they're called. Alright. So we... What do you mean I need a permit? I have a permit. I paid a fucking fortune for this permit. Your permit is no longer valid. You'll need to have it renewed. You have 24 hours to comply. 
Fuck off, you have 24 hours to comply. Well, that, that makes absolutely no sense. If, if you do not comply, you will be detained and your food cart confiscated. If you so much as touch Carl, I will cut off your testicles and make a kebab. The threats are counterproductive and punishable by law. You have 20... How does it feel working for a fascist fucking regime, trampling all over the working people? I'm okay with it. Yeah, great health coverage, no overtime, pays decent. 24 hours. Oh. Hey. Hey, where are you? Just leaving therapy on my way to the shop. What's up? Uh, neck deep. Would I be a bad boyfriend if I asked you to stop by that place with the uh, crazy person and the good food? Nella bites. Sure. And lazy. Not bad. What? Not bad boyfriend. Lazy boyfriend. What do you want? Uh, your pick. Nothing... Exotic. <laughs> Affirmative. I'll stop by Nella's right now. I should be at your office in 15? Thanks. You're the best. I am. See you soon. Alright, so G uh, for goals. Alright, get lunch for Reza um, from Nella Bikes. Alright, now it doesn't feel as smooth anymore, but I have had, like, I have read a few things saying that there's kind of some crash issues when you're in town. I'm going to assume, yeah, it says Nella on there. It says Carol there, though. Okay, look. Nella. Did you see that? I, I don't really want to get involved. Sorry, Nella. I just have to buy Reza's lunch. You know what they say. First they came for the communist, and I didn't speak out because I wasn't a communist. But you are a communist. Marxist. And that's not the point. The eye is clamping down on our freedoms. They're restricting transit between the districts, working directly with Parliament to silence revolutionaries. One of these days, I won't be around to sell you lunch. I'm sure they won't. Arrest me for committing thought crimes? Wait and see, I'd say. Something's up. They already arrested some folks I know in the Berlin district, holding them on suspicion of terrorism. Crimes of the mind, so so. That's their angle. So, okay, they also released a cloud of biographiti on the Reichstag, but terrorism? Come on! Scary. Scary. That's exactly what it is. And your candidate isn't going to change anything for the better. Maybe not. But Uminska won't change anything for the worse, either. Unlike Konstantin Wolf. Kaiser Konstantin. Puta! If that schwein gets elected, I'm moving to Paris. They'd never let you in. One of the conglomerate city-states of North America, then. Newport. The fucking Republic of Los Angeles. Hell, even Bostonia. Anywhere but Kaiser's Europe. That's why Lea Uminska is the best choice. No one's gonna put the Marxists in office, Nela. At least my candidate has a fighting chance. And she is a socialist. She's a moderate, Zoe. A moderate! What's the point in that? Moderation is just another word for compromise. Anyway, what are you having? Having? Lunch, Zozo. For your turbo. Listen, I have a new supplier for pork worst, the collective down on Caprova. Organic meat, the real deal, none of that vat-grown slop. Don't know how they do it. Connections on high, plenty of mouses swapping hands, but they're legal, I think. All right, let's see. The pork sausages sound totally delicious. I'm not sure Reza will agree, but he needs to be more adventurous when it comes to his diet. The pork sausages sound delicious, but Reza plays it safe when it comes to food. Europolitan through and through. No tolerance for organic meats. I'm working on it, but baby steps let's go ahead cheese oh gosh cheese soup sounds disgusting i'm gonna get the pork sausages the por <laughs> let's live dangerously the pork sausages sound perfect dobra coming up you should join the protest this afternoon we're marching on the sector office i think it would take a lot more than a political rally for mira to give me time off i'm gonna have to pass Smart girl. We'll probably get beaten by the bulla and tossed in the zona. Just another fucking Monday in Propast. Here you go. Well, thank Thanks, you. Nea. If you reconsider, we'll head out around noon. Time to let those guns know we're watching the Watchmen. Wow. All right. <laughs> There's food carts here as well. Maybe I should go to a food cart. I don't know. The best food in Propast comes from the street vendors and their food carts. Hands down, no contest. All right, well... 
guess you can't get anything, so let's go this way. So here's a map. Hey, you ask. No An interactive tourist map of Procast. Super useful. Alright, so do I need to use it? Ready, partner. Where are you off to today? Um Mira's shop is located in the bricks, in what used to be Propast Auto Service. I'm not sure what the official name is, but I'm sure Pandemonium won't be on this map. Um Do you know where Propast Auto Service is located? One second, doll. Why, I sure do. But that garage closed down years ago. I can direct you to- I want to go to there. Well, certainly. The building's still there, right smack in the bricks. According to the city net, it's abandoned. So watch out for squatters and undesirables. It was a pleasure serving you this fine day, miss. What? Okay, I'm confused. Um. Crow boy here. I'm one rootin' tootin' six barrel shootin' crow cowboy. Ooh. All right, let's just see. Our apartment is off Sun and Shine Plaza in the aptly named Sun and. Sh Where's Sun and Shine Plaza on the map? Sponsored by Original Consumer Goods, Sun and Shine Plaza is the only place in Pro Pass with an artificial sun, and it's burning hot. Yeehaw! All right, okay. I hope you get to where you're going. And if you ever get lost again, you know Crow Boys got your back. Got your back. All right, well, let's go see if it's this way. <laughs> I'm not sure that it is, but yeah, like look at their Mohican. What are they called? Oh, gosh, I think it's Mohican. I'm not sure. All right, we can run. Why not? It's between Wolf and Aminska, isn't it? Me as well. Um, I think it was like down this way and to the left. Maybe not. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, maybe no. I think it. I'm a rootin', tootin', six shootin', oh no! Wait, that's a dead end. What? Where am I going? Map. Get your map here. Yeah, hey. Map. I'm here to give you directions, man. Yeah. You just tell me where you want to go today. I want to go home. Our Where's Sun and Shine Plaza on the map? Sponsored by Original Consumer Goods, Sun and Shine what? Plaza is the only place in Propass with an artificial sun. And it's burning hot. This is a big sense. Y'all come back anytime now, you hear? Alright, oh, I'm going to go back up that way. Yeah, this must be back up this way. Obviously, I... Can we please... Thank you. Obviously, I went the wrong way. <laughs> My bad. And it must be this way. I don't know. Jeez. Renta's lab. Alright, well. Political ad. I don't care about no. Oh, look at this one. How crazy. Alright, what is this place? Oh, clearly nothing of um, importance. I, you guys, I'm so lost right now. You don't even have any idea. Okay. I know, I know, I'm on my way, honest. With my lunch? Of course. Pff. Who do you take me for, Miss Distracted? Uh, yes. Yes, that's exactly who I take you for. Oh, ye of little faith. Five minutes, tops. Right. You look and boys here to help you find do your know where the office pad. is, right? I'm bad with directions, granted, but, you know, come on. <laughs> All right, just checking. Keep the river on your left and you'll find it eventually. Oh, go away. Oh, and see you soon. Hmm. River on my left. Right, well, I guess we're not going home. It does not look like lunchtime, though. Where in the heck am I? Is that the river? What? I'm confused. It's all not where I am. I think, basically, I may have just had to do a little street line. But I have gone and got myself totally lost. Because we all know that's um, what I am good at in games. <laughs> so I said to him, I said, so you can't pass through right. here, Bruder. You need to turn back and head home. 
up these stairs. So river on me left. All right, fine. Hum. I think. Yeah, I I think I know where I'm going. Don't hold me to that though. Seriously. All right. I think it's this way. Okay. It's between Wolf and Aminska, isn't it? Oh. Ross and Rebus are. Look at that. Are we back at the river? <laughs> Is this the river? Yes! This is the river. And look at that, it's on my I left. The best dream time yesterday. Okay, are we? What did you do? Where the heck am I? Right. I don't know. Am I lost again? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I like his short, it just says no. That's how I feel like right now. Like, no, I don't want to find your office, mister. I don't want to find it. Alright. River's on my left still. Dream all day. Oh. Dreams all my life. I stay away. Dream all night. Can I give him something? No. A dream about tomorrow and how hey. it would be. Okay. Well, the river's still on my left. I ain't looking, liking the look of this place. Nope. Let's go ahead and have a look at the map. You look like you could need some direction. I could. Before last year, I was never that into Crowboy. I don't know what happened, but now I find him adorable. Alright. I got a hankering for giving you directions. Okay, so Mira's shop is located in the bricks in what used to be Propast Auto Service. Do you know where Propast Auto Service is located? One second, doll. Why, I sure do. The doctor closed down years ago. My pills I can are direct you to I want to go to there. Well, certainly. The building's still there, right smack in the bricks. According to the city net, it's abandoned. So watch out for squatters and undesirables. That can't Anytime be the right you place. You need a six barrel shooting crow cowboy to give you directions to anywhere in Crow Pass. You just call on the crow boy. I don't think that's the right place. Well, if it ain't my favorite cowgirl, can I point you in the direction of something, All right. darling? Reza's office is down by Prista. Show me Prista Vista, please. The Pamatnik collapse. Planning on a trip down the river? You got it, pal girl. Oh. Road past docks coming right up. Don't be a stranger now, you hear? Apparently I am uh right there. So Is it that can't be it there, no. Is it this sushi place? Wait. No, it can't be the sushi place, no. Nope. Um, what? I don't I'm get this. You guys. Ooh, get, get, get out of my way. Hmm. You know, she gets a lot on the air, but ah. is straight up. So, right here. Okay. Well, how did I get in? Alright. Here we are. There we go. I found it eventually. <laughs> Took me a little while, granted, but um, yeah. That map is not the best. Okay, let's see. What one is Reza? I don't know where he is. It's a terminal. Here he is. The boyfriend, working hard to save the world one story at a time. Hey you. What's up? Toppling governments and exposing corporate conspiracies? Well, all in a daze. How was, you know. Therapy? It's therapeutic, I guess. You guess. Mm, let's go ahead and change subjects. I know he means well, but not in the mood for more psychotherapy. Can we please talk about it later? 
at home. So, working. On what now? A couple of things. The clampdown, mostly. There's tons of buzz about the Syndicate shutting down parts of the Metro, uh, escalating identity checks, raiding news feeds. We're expecting the worst. You're loving it. I wouldn't say that, but... It's exciting. We can make a difference. I pray they try to raid a hand. Sully's already preparing the lawsuits. We'll sue them for emotional trauma, unlawful intrusion, damages to property, interference with the free press. We'll sue them for 300 million yuan. He's looking forward to it. I am looking forward to it. Bring it on. On your way to the shop? Ready to get rid of me already? I bring lunch. Sausage. Surprise? Possibly exotic? Sorry. I forgive you. You can stay as long as you don't talk to me. I need to finish this story. The clampdown? No. That new Bingo Dreamer soft drink. Apparently they fast-tracked EFSA approval and skipped a few steps. Some customers have reported seeing the Bingo Dingo after drinking a can. We'll probably get it pulled from vending machines. That's my boyfriend, getting fizzy drinks yanked from store shelves. I'm a modern-day Gilgamesh, saving the world from hallucinogenic sugar water. Thanks for lunch. I appreciate it. I guess I'm making dinner. You guess correctly, Ziamal. Oh, I won't be home until later. I'm volunteering. Any special requests? Nothing heavy. Have the membranes been repaired? I queried the building net, but no reply. Prepare for the worst. I can't believe we don't live in a climate control department. As soon as I get a raise, we're moving. I don't want to leave Propast. No, I like the neighborhood. But a more modern building would be nice. No more sunny living at Sun and Shine Plaza by original consumer goods. Anyway, lunch. Here, I have to run. Have fun at the shop. Say hi to, uh, to Crazy Face? Mira. Come on, she's not... Well, yeah, she is. Mira is Crazy Face. There's no way around that. All right, um, I don't really know how I feel about him, but we're going to go ahead and end this part here. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this and I will speak to you all soon. Bye everyone.